Okay, so I'm going to assume that you go ahead, that you went ahead and watched the basics of the 401k video, um, just because it makes me feel better about my life choices. But so we're going to talk now about how to calculate 401k type stuff in Excel. So before, in the other video, we were pretending that you made 100,000. And that's per year. So I could put yearly or annual. And then um, let's say your company match was 4%. Four percent is pretty pretty decent. Um, usually, anywhere from three to five is kind of normal for company match. So, okay, so your contribution. Let's say you oops, contribution. Let's say you're putting in five six percent. Okay. So four percent of a hundred thousand. We're going to go ahead and multiply. So I go four percent times a hundred thousand. The same here equals 6% times 100,000. So these three are my inputs. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make them a different color. Let's use this color. That's nice. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a table because I want to know, um, I want to know how my stuff is doing. And let's see, let's say an interest rate. And let's say on average, I'm getting 4.5%. So, okay. So I'm going to have a start. I'm going to have an added, I'm going to have interest, and I'm going to have in. Okay, so let's say you start your 401k um, when you first start working at like 22, and let's say you want to retire at 62, so that's like 40 years. So I'm going to go ahead and do this down 40 years, and I want to know how much I'm going to have in my 401k at the end of that 40 years. Okay, so that's 18... 30, almost there. Okay, 40. Okay, so my starting value, I'm going to take these two together. So at the end of the first year, the company is paying 4,000, I'm paying 6,000. So I'm just going to go equals this plus this just for the first year. After that, the end value is going to be my new start value. Okay, so or I guess I, I guess I could pretend like I started at zero because it's the first year. Okay, this is going to be this plus this. And this is always going to be like every year I'm going to pretend like I put that in. So I'm going to go ahead and put my dollar signs. So dollar, 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 dollar. My interest is going to now be, it's going to be the interest that I earn on this plus this. So this is this times open parentheses, this plus this, close parentheses. And this one, it's always going to be this right here. So it's always going to refer back to my, um, to my interest rate. So I'm going to go ahead and put dollars around that. The other ones, I don't want to have dollars because I want that to change. So my end is going to be equals this plus whatever I added plus the interest that I got. Okay, so at the end of year one, I have $10,000 in there. So beginning of year two, that is the same as my end balance from there. Added, I'm just going to click and drag that down. That's exactly what I had before. Interest, I'm going to click and drag that down. So now notice it changed because now I'm not getting interest off of just $10,000. i am getting interest off of the $10,450 plus $10,000. So I'm getting interest off of $20,450. So that already over doubled, right? And then this, I'm going to add it down. Da, da, da. So at the end of the year two, I already have $21,000 saved up. That, that's what I'm saying. Like 401k grows crazy fast. And this is four points. So this is going to be an average. So when you're, when you're looking at this, your interest rate is going to change from year to year, depending on what the stock market's doing. So if it goes down, you might go down a little bit, but then some years it's going to go way up. So you can't freak out if it goes down because that's just the natural cycle, right? The stock market goes up, it goes down, it goes up again. And that's okay, because when it goes up, you're going to earn a whole lot more. So now, if I just assume an average 4.5%, so I'm going to take this second line. I'm highlighting all of them because I don't want to have to click and drag a whole bunch of times. I'm going to click this. I'm going to drag it all the way down to the end. So if I do it this way, <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of numbers past that comma. So if I put in 
four thousand four thousand. My company matches. They put in four thousand. If I put six thousand dollars a year, which if you're making a hundred thousand, you're not even going to feel that going away. Like that's you're not even going to notice. So that comes out before you even get paid. It literally, it doesn't hurt because you don't see it going away. But I started. I just put that in every year. I didn't even add anything extra. I didn't touch it. I just left it there. And this is, let's see, that is like over a million, 1.1 million. That's how much you have at the end of the year just by putting that in. And that's not including any kind of savings. And that's just assuming an average 4.5. If it, if it averaged out to 5.5% interest, then by the end of it, you would have 1.4 million. So... And that's at age 62. If you worked all the way until 72, so like, let's say I went down a little further and I worked 50 years. If I went down to 72, then I would have made 2.5 million by the time I retired. So, you know, if you're, if you're relying on social security, it's not going to pay you very much. You're going to get like you know, it's, it's a very low fixed income. You don't have a lot of money to go do travel stuff. But if you've done this and you put this in to your 401k, by the time you're 60 or 70 years old, um, you could do whatever you want. You could go buy yourself a, a sailboat. You could go, um, you could just cruise. You could go skiing. Like you could do all kinds of stuff because you've saved up for yourself and you're not having to rely on the government just paying you to survive. Now, and then you can also take your social security. So you have your little social security income, but you have more than enough saved up for yourself. So 401k is a really big deal.